Hola and welcome back to my YouTube channel here at Benidorm and beyond. I produce positive, fun and informative vlogs about the fantastic resort of Benidorm where I have lived for well over 20 years so please come along and join me on my regular Spanglish adventures. And don't forget to leave me a comment, like or emoji or just simply share this vlog or subscribe to the channel to help spread the word about Benidorm and beyond and get more upbeat vlogs about this beautiful tourist city out there in the world. Today I'm taking you for a walk along Cay Valencia which is situated right on the edge of the old town in the centro area and which leads away from the famous square of Plaza Triangular and all the way down to the beautiful Avanti beachfront and sea promenade. We started at the popular fried Louisiana chicken restaurant and takeaway of Popeyes with its attractive outside terrace filled with orange and turquoise seating and well spaced tables. And then we passed the typical Benidorm Chinese shop of H&J Modas full of all the usual bits and bobs including sundresses, beach items, toys and souvenirs. Next along is Monkey Rent who hire out bicycles, scooters, segways and motorbikes for periods of two hours upwards including mobility scooters and then we see a small mini mart followed by the Natura CBD store who specialize in legal marijuana based products and offer a cool and modern interior in which to choose your purchases. Carrying on we then see two more Chinese style clothing shops selling a bit of everything and with deck chairs, sun tunnels and beach parasols displayed outside the front of the shops too I'm sure they do a roaring trade to anyone passing this way who's heading down to the beautiful Levante beachfront and then the small hidden gem of Café Bar La Parada where you can grab a small beer for just one euro or maybe a smoothie, cold drink or snack with a warm welcome for free by the lovely female Spanish owner. Moving along we then pass the large Spanish restaurant of Rincón Murciano meaning in English the Murcian Corner. Offering a vast array of tapas, seafood dishes and other main meals, it advertises itself as serving up the best meats and freshest vegetables from its grill and it also has handy pull down plastic sheeting walls for when the breeze gets up and blows along from the beachfront as it was doing a bit on the day I filmed. Adjacent is the restaurant of Alianter de Asturias which is another Spanish establishment this time concentrating on the cuisine from Asturias in the north of Spain and which is owned by a couple from the Asturian seaside city and resort of Gijón. After this we see the Indian Tandoor restaurant for those of you who fancy something a bit spicier for dinner and this venue has very good TripAdvisor reviews on the whole so maybe somewhere to think about trying if you're in this area of town with a set menu priced at 16 euros which runs from 6 p.m. until half 11 at night and includes a starter and a main and with lunchtime offers available too. Next along we pass a brand new business in the shape of yet another mini mart this time called All in One offering all the usual overpriced snacks, drinks and tat and then the glass and marble tiled entrance to the residential apartment block of Prince Pardo A. Now approaching the corner we come to the ever popular Tiki Town Beach Club which is strikingly decorated with brown, green and white stripes reminiscent of a deck chair and which is always full with crowds and couples. With endless cocktails and bucket deals to choose from plus no extra charge for that beautiful view who can blame people for flocking to it and enjoying a drink or two whilst taking in that gorgeous scenery ahead. We now take in a quick sweep of the lovely Levante seafront and promenade along with Peacock Island in the distance and then we continue our walk down the opposite side of Cay Valencia where we firstly see the cafe bar and restaurant Manila which is named after the apartment block it sits beneath and like Tiki Town also faces the sea. This traditional Spanish venue offers the usual mix of tapas, main meals and drinks and again offers fabulous views out to sea, up the coast and beyond. Continuing along we pass the silver gated entrance to the apartment building of Edificio Principado Manila and then a wall disguising its pool and gardens area as well as its extensive private parking. If you want to find out about some of Benidorm's most popular hotels then why not check out my great series of vlogs giving you an unbiased look inside and out. Just search YouTube, fly on the wall, followed by the name of the hotel you're looking for and all the info will be at your fingertips, it's that simple. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee, or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. Avoiding the traffic, we then arrive at a small parade of shops set back from the street, sitting just behind a landscape garden area full of shrubs and bushes, 
where firstly we see a local Banco Santander branch with two street facing ATMs and this is followed by the Incorp Tattoo Studio and then a pharmacy along with the long closed down business of Kai Bunhoya which is now up for rent. Next door is yet another small supermarket promising the lure of British products inside and then we pass a money exchange store and a laundry shop or lentaria adjacent which brings us back to the bustling square of Plata Hispanidad and it's here that we end today's vlog. I hope that you've enjoyed this info-packed walk along the small beachside street of Cay Valencia with me and if you have then please consider joining me again in the future as well as checking out some of my many other videos full of news bulletins and updates, more detailed street and beachfront walks as well as reviews and tours on lots of local hotels, cafes, bars and new businesses. Thanks so much for watching as always and I'll see you out and about on Benidorm streets next time. Adios for now and hopefully catch you again soon. Cheers!